With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A proton and an alpha particle enters a uniform magnetic field moving with same speed. If the proton takes 25 microsecond for 5 revolution, then time period for alpha particle will be. So if you see, they both enter in a uniform same magnetic field moving with same speed, right? So if I calculate the time period for both of them, it will be equals to, let's say they are performing the circular motion in a circle of radius r. So I will write the time period for one revolution will be by V, where V is the speed, right? So let us find out on what, what factor does the time period will depend, right? So if you see, let's say the magnetic field is in this direction. So I will write the magnetic force on the particle is equals to QVB since both are perpendicular and we know that uh, here the magnetic force vector is, is equals to q v cross v right so here the magnetic force will act as the centripetal force so i will write it as this right so this v will get cancelled out right from here you can see we got the value of r by v r by v is equals to m by q v m by q v so put it here in this expression r by v is equals to m by q v so you can see the time period is directly proportional to mass and inversely proportional to the charge so if i write down if you see uh, we wanted the time period for the alpha particle and the time period of the proton particle we know right we already have seen it is proportional to the mass and inversely proportional to the charge so i will write this into inversely proportional to the charge so i will write now if i talk about the mass of the proton and mass of the alpha particle which which is this 1 amu 4 amu proton 1e alpha particle 2 2e you can see the ratio right mass ratio is 4 i will put here it is 4 and qp by q alpha it is half so it will be 2 right if you see qp by q alpha is half now if you see it the proton takes this much second for 5 revolution, right? So I will write the time for 1 revolution, it will be 25 by this. Because for 5 revolution, it takes 25 microsecond. So in, in 1 revolution, it will take 5 microsecond. So this is the time period for the proton. Now you can put it in this equation to get the time period for the alpha. Time period for the alpha is 2 times of time period of the proton. So it is microsecond. And this is the answer of this question. Now check for the option. C is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.